Detroit Barry, it was one of the costliest tornadoes in U.S. history, and it caused devastation across northern Connecticut and western Massachusetts. The enormous task of cleaning up after a killer tornado is facing thousands of people in the Windsor Locks, Connecticut area. At around 3 p.m. on Wednesday, October 3, 1979, an F-4 tornado with winds in excess of 200 miles per hour touched down at Pequannock in the town of Windsor, Connecticut, and moved up along Route 75 into Feeding Hills. The tornado all but wiped out the Bradley Air Museum in Windsor Locks, Connecticut. Twenty-five planes were tossed around like toys and destroyed, and an entire roof was ripped off a hangar. Sixty-five homes were destroyed in the tornado's 11-mile path of destruction. In Feeding Hills, the Granger Elementary School was shut down for weeks due to water and structural damage. The National Weather Service, which was here at Bradley International Airport at the time, never issued a warning for the tornado because it developed too close to the radar to be detected. Sue Banks was one of the survivors of the tornado and lives in the area where the tornado first touched down. She was interviewed by 22 News after her home had been destroyed on that fateful day. It appeared that the sofa bed went from the corner that's now empty, flew across the house, slammed into the kitchen wall. That wall came down on top of us. It was pitch black. We couldn't see the children. We had no idea what was going on. Sue and her family have rebuilt their home in the same spot. 30 years later, she vividly remembers that day. Everything was just so fast, so intense, so much power, so loud, but you couldn't hear. And then all of a sudden it was over. It may have lasted 15 seconds. Um, I think the strangest thing I ever saw that day was the sky. You know you're in your kitchen. And then suddenly there's the sky in front of you. And, and I don't know what point I knew that it was a tornado, but I did at some point. I realized that's what it had to be. In all, three people lost their lives and 500 people were injured. The tornado caused around 420.